What's up guys, welcome to this video. Today I am really excited because I finally have my hands on the STL Tonality plug-in by Howard Benson and Mike Plotnikoff. Now, if you guys don't know who Howard Benson and Mike Plotnikoff are, neither do I. But from what I hear, they're really good at what they do and with all the hype behind this plugin and the reviews that I saw, it still got me really excited to finally get my hands on this plugin. Now, plugins are really important to me because well, see this Blackstar ID Core 10? This is the only amplifier that I own. So I don't have an amp head and cab and microphones to get all of my sounds through. So I kind of knew three months ago when I was going to start making videos that I was going to rely heavily on plugins. Uh, this one looked really good to me because it looks like a one stop shop plugin that's really user friendly that's going to give you really good solid tones. Now I know that this has already been reviewed by guys like Andy James, Phil X, and Ola England, but I thought it would be just kind of helpful to see somebody kind of do a quick overview of it who doesn't have access to a $1,500 to $2,000 audio interface like they do and who doesn't have years and years of experience with recording rigs. A whole wealth of you know knowledge when it comes to kind of setting up and recording your tone. I'm definitely not one of those guys. I thought this would give you a really good idea of what this sounds like out of the box without having too much knowledge of how to use plugins and how to dial in good tones. Now the signal chain that I'm going to be using for this is just going to be my Solar S1.6 guitar into my audio interface into Cubase. So let's get in here and start checking out some of these tones. All right, cool. So this is the default amp that you get right when you open up the plugin. So that does sound pretty good right out of the box. Um, let's check out what amp two sounds like. Here's your pedal section. Um, you have a tube screamer, a delay, and a reverb. Um, I didn't really mess with these too much, but here, yeah, we'll leave that on. Your delay, here's that. section. 
um, just to give you those different IR tones. Okay, actually, let me come back out here and throw this into the first amplifier. Let's turn this Tube Screamer back on. Let's turn the gain up. Gate up a little bit. And then let's come back out here to the cab section. So there's cab one. I didn't want to spend too much time trying to come up with a preset, so I just kind of went into their stock presets, and I'll give you a couple of them. Um, the one that I went straight to was Heavy Rhythm number one. And then from there I came in here to the pedals, and I noticed that the screamer was on, and that the gain was at noon, so I just decided to kind of turn that up to see what happened. Sounds really good. Let's check out heavy rhythm number two and do the same thing. Actually, here, let me give it to you at noon first, and then... try any of these lead tones. Um, all I ended up doing was just leaving it on tight rhythm and I turned on the delay. I brought the level down because I didn't want it too high up in the mix. I don't know, it's right around here somewhere. And then I turned the feedback down to right around 30. And I, this actually, when you get it, it comes here. So I turned it up to there. <laughs> Tone. 
Uh, and if you guys see, I'm not going to go through all of them, but if you guys kind of scroll down here, you have all these different uh, presets that it comes with, and you have these artist tones here. Now, I still have to mess with it because there is a difference between those presets, and if you go over here and click on Mike Plotnikoff, you have a different set of presets here, and then if you go down STL Tones, you have a different set of pre -tones of presets here. So I really honestly haven't gone through all of them. I just kind of went straight to what I needed and then kind of went from there, but it gives you kind of an idea of what this thing comes with. All right, so that's it for me on this one, guys. Um, hopefully you guys got a really good idea of what this thing sounds like right out of the box. I still have a long way to go with this plugin. I still have a whole bunch of presets to go through, and, uh, but I pretty much know that it's gonna give me everything I need from here forward. It's the only plugin that I'm gonna need for recording. Um, so until the next time, as always, subscribe guys. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.